Hey everybody, I kind of had to Frankenstein this video together uh, from a couple videos that I had filmed. I had originally uh, filmed this video and the footage didn't come out right because of the heat affected my camera, so I had to refilm it again. Still didn't come out that good the second time, so I just kind of put together something uh, for you guys to enjoy and uh, see what uh, is going on with my Pontiac. And I uh, hope that I'm going to have some more videos coming for you guys soon, so enjoy this uh, short little vlog. So I got this car back in I think 2015, 2015 or 2016 is when I got the car. Actually, I think it was 2016, yeah. So I've had it ever since then and it's kind of a family heirloom. My uh, uncle was the second owner of it, my great uncle. He lived in the Bay Area and he had it years and years and my mom remembers it when she was a little so this was his car but it was also their family car so they would take it on road trips they would do everything that we do with car these days with this old thing uh and he really took great care of it and it used to have a vinyl top on it but he took it off because it was getting water underneath and you know rust and whatnot but he came to the point in his life where he wanted to downsize because he had some other cars too. And it came to the point where he was going to sell this. And I had always wanted a Pontiac. And I came in and I said, I'll take it. I'll keep it in the family. I'll take good care of it. And he gave it to me for pretty much a steal. And I have had it ever since. I've driven it. Uh, sometimes as a daily driver. I used to drive it as a daily driver in college for a little bit when I was living in San Francisco. So that was a lot of fun and I'll maybe make a video about that, driving a car in a big city. And yeah, I've just been trying to take care of it and drive it as much as possible. So the interior is kind of messy right now. Um, I had filmed this video earlier, but uh, yeah, I had it all pristine, but uh, yeah, I didn't have time to clean it up for this one. Uh, I got my empty can there from the car meet this morning, but uh, and I got a chunk of my steering wheel. But uh, other than that, the interior was in really good shape when I got it. The seats got a little bit of wear and tear on top, but I put seat covers over them, so I can't even tell. The headliner came off when I was going across the Bay Bridge one day, uh, so that wasn't fun, but I got all that out. And the carpet's in decent shape, but I'm definitely going to get a new one. The dashboard is really what I'm trying to preserve in this car because you really can't get these and it splits pretty easily. But I have seen people use like Bondo or whatever to seal these, so I might do that and uh, restore it. And I got a few little decorations and everything. I got a Bluetooth uh, reproduction radio. It doesn't fit perfectly like it advertises, but it does pretty good. So I have music. Um, electric gauge set doesn't have air conditioning once again but i'm thinking about maybe putting vintage air in it because it's really really hot um got the original steering wheel right here got to get it redone i have found a person in the midwest who does recasting so probably going to do that um if you bought the car from the dealership you could option everything like you could in the you know you can option everything in the 60s so right here would have been a clock um, if you had AC, you would have had a vent up here and a vent on the side and on the other side, but uh, it didn't come with that. This is a Bay Area car, so very, very minimal rust, but um, that's probably why I also didn't have AC. Like if this was sold somewhere with hotter weather, somebody probably would have opted for it. Um, what else is there uh it's pretty basic you know this is a ventura package it's not the bonneville which had like uh the bonneville had like different uh, or, or bonneville not bonneville i i don't know i've heard it pronounced a couple ways but it had different door panels that had like lights in it and everything and i believe the back seat had a speaker in it but uh yeah this is pretty basic it's got you know little ashtrays and whatnot um didn't even have speakers in the back so um, that was an option, so I put those in. Those are just cheapo speakers, but they work really well. Um, the windows, I love the way windows roll down in the rear. 
of old cars. My Ford Galaxy does the same thing. So that's pretty cool. And it's pillarless. So when you're driving down the road, there's nothing in the way and whatnot. So really like that. Um, like I said, the only sort of rust that's on it is up here on the roof. When I mentioned my uncle had to take it off for, uh, take the vinyl top off because it had water in it. So that's about it. It's got the original wheels uh, with the Pontiac Motor Division hubcaps. So those are really cool to have. I'm thinking about going to 16 though, just for when I'm driving. I also have the fender skirts, but I just don't have them on right now. I actually don't like those that much, but uh, they do look cool for car shows. I really like these. These light up when you put the lights on and everything. Those are cool. Uh, the chrome is in really good shape. Uh, so funny story about this damage right here. Um, I won't swear to this because I don't think that they remember which car they used, but I'm pretty sure it was this one. My, uh, like I said, I got this car from my uncle who lived in the Bay Area, and my grandpa was also from there, so it was my mom and everything. And my uncle, or my grandpa saw a rock in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco that he really liked. Actually, it wasn't a rock, it was a boulder, but he wanted it in his garden because he was really into gardening. Uh, he was a longshoreman there for 30 years and whatnot, and uh, my uncle also worked in the Bay Area, so they were always getting together after work and everything. They got drunk. They decided to drive to Golden Gate Park in the middle of the night and steal the boulder and put it in the car, and they, they took it back to their house in East Bay. Um, the funny thing about that, when my grandpa was uh, going to move out of that house, my grandpa and my grandma and my family, uh, they took the, uh, they tried to take that boulder with it they stole from Golden Gate Park. They couldn't lift it. So they don't know how they got it out of the park that night. They don't remember. Um, took like four guys and they still couldn't lift the boulder. So that's funny. And a uh, little piece of history with this car, if this is the car they use. But like I said, they uh, kind of don't remember. Um, but uh, it's got drum brakes all the way around, which are terrifying. I'm going to see if I can get a set of 14 or drum brakes that can fit 14 inch wheels so I can keep the original wheels. Or uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a set of disc brakes for up front that could fit uh, 14 inch wheels. So that way I could do that. Um, have it be a little bit safer. It's got a 400 in it. And uh, I like about this car is that it runs okay under heat. Uh, I noticed my Ford kind of doesn't like it when it gets too hot, but uh, DeLorean, John DeLorean designed these engines to run a little bit hotter and burn fuel better when they're that hot. So uh, that's good. I like that better uh, than uh, an engine that doesn't like the heat. Cause like I said, these summers get rough in this area and uh, it's nice to, to have that. Uh, as far as plans of what I'm going to do. Well, first let me go through it. Uh, this is mostly stock. Uh, this is uh, the all original drivetrain. It was 100% stock when I got it, but I did change a few little things on it just to make it a little bit more driver friendly. Uh, the first thing was is that the original cast iron intake manifold had, it was really corroded and rusted. I needed a new one. I wanted to keep it two barrel, but uh, cause that's what it originally came with. But unfortunately I could not find a two barrel aluminum manifold. And the manifolds that I did find that were two barrel were cast iron. So they were gonna run hotter and they just weren't in good shape. They're really corroded. So I decided to go with a four barrel Edelbrock uh, aluminum intake manifold. Had to go with a different kind of setup. So we went with a Phytec. Uh, this is an earlier Phytec model though. So it's not as good as uh, I think a lot of the newer EFI systems. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I It's made it more driver friendly and whatnot, but I think EFI is only really worth it if you're doing a complete engine rebuild on it. Uh, one horror story is uh, when I was driving this, when I had the two barrel on it, um, a screw vibrated loose from the uh, from the carburetor and got sucked down into the intake and uh, engine threw a rod and just it destroyed the engine. So I had to come out and get rebuilt. That's when we figured we'd do the Phytec, but I don't know. Um, it's not all it's cracked up to be, but when it runs good, it, run, it runs really good. Let me push the, this valve back in. Um, to make it a little bit more stable in traffic for when I'm driving. Um, I did this mainly when I was driving this in the Bay Area. Uh, it's got an aluminum radiator in it with uh, dual electric fans. It does pretty well at keeping it cool. Uh, this engine runs between 190 and 220. 
uh, but it, it doesn't ever get over 220. Usually, sometimes like on a really really hot summer day in traffic, it'll get up to 220. But as long as it doesn't go over that, it's fine. Like I said, these engines are they do fine getting that hot. Um, I do need to create some sort of uh, uh, what's it called. Uh, a shroud around this so that way like because there's so much air that comes in through the grill it goes around the radiator so yeah i had to get back in the car because uh it's uh pretty hot um like i mentioned let me get this door shut here so my light doesn't burn up get that battery don't want my battery to burn up so um as far as what i want to do with the car um you know i i don't know um this car it's i enjoy it the way it is of course it could always be a little bit better um but you can dump, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars into these old cars to end up with something that's just okay. And okay is all you're ever going to get with these cars, but that's, a, that's okay. That's, that's, you know, the beauty of old cars is that, uh, you know, um, their, their beauty is in their Im imperfections, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, maybe, like I said, I'm, I'm really considering putting air conditioning in it just to make it a little bit more friendly to drive over the over the summer because I'm a huge baby when it comes to that and uh you know uh among other things just maybe redo the suspension and so it handles a little bit better make it safer um like I said put disc brakes up front but I want to find a disc brakes that fit a 14 inch wheel so I can keep those stock wheels for shows but, uh, you know, this car has been good to me. Um, I named it Mary after my aunt, who uh, was, you know, my aunt that was married to my uncle who I bought this from. She, she passed away, unfortunately. So Mary's been a good car. I've enjoyed her a lot. Um, she's got me back and forth to, to school, to work, and got me out of some, you know, bad situations. But, uh, uh, you know, overall, I, I've, been, I've been very happy with this car. Um, I the the thing is though is that my cars are always broken down when when i want to drive them so like you know every time there's a show or a car meet like you guys saw with my last vlog um something's always wrong so this was i think the first time i ever brought this car to a car meet or to a uh, show and you know that was fun um it was nice being able to uh to do that and uh talk about it with uh, other car people and uh yeah i hope to be able to do do all this again soon um so i'm just happy it's not a rust bucket that's really all i could ask for that it's got a nice patina paint job and uh i think cosmetically the only thing i'm gonna kind of do well this isn't even cosmetic but i want to get the weather stripping done so that way when the rain comes it doesn't seep in and cause any rust so i want to do that and then keep driving it the way it is and uh, enjoy it one day I will maybe get a paint job and get the interior redone but um, that day is a little far off but uh, yeah I uh, am hoping to upload some more videos pretty soon depending on what uh, car projects I'm going to be working on and I hope you guys like this little short video and I will see you guys on the next one take care bye